What if our cities could exist without contributing to climate change? What if every single building, park and road could help us reach net zero emissions? Imagine a cityscape that not only sustains itself, but actively aids in the fight against global warming. The Global Covenant of Mayors for Climate and AMP Energy, with commitments from thousands of cities, holds a potential that could redefine our urban environments. Today, we're going to explore the 10 steps that can help us turn these what-ifs into reality. Step 1. Cities must decarbonize their buildings. Buildings, surprisingly, are responsible for nearly 40% of global energy-related carbon emissions. This is a two-pronged issue. 28% of these emissions come from the energy needed to run these buildings, while 11% can be traced back to the construction process and the materials used. Therefore, to truly achieve a net-zero city, we need to focus on reducing emissions from both the usage and creation of our buildings. Decarbonizing our buildings is a crucial first step towards a net-zero city. Next, we turn to energy efficiency, often the forgotten child of sustainability. The path to net zero is not all about shiny new cities or electrifying everything we can. It's also about making what we have work better. Being more energy efficient reduces greenhouse gas emissions and costs. It's about smarter urban spaces, less waste, and better use of our resources. It's about doing more with less. Efficiency may not be glamorous, but it is essential for reaching net zero. Our third step involves rethinking how we get around our cities. The role of transportation in pollution is undeniable. Motor vehicles alone contribute to a staggering 75% of carbon monoxide pollution. Imagine the change we could bring by prioritizing public transportation, creating walkable and bikeable neighborhoods, and switching to electric vehicles. Not only would we reduce harmful emissions, but we'd also create healthier, more vibrant communities. By transforming our transportation, we can make a significant dent in our carbon emissions. Steps 5, 6, and 7 involve harnessing the power of the sun, the soil, and water. Solar farms, a cornerstone of renewable energy, help cities improve air quality while providing a sustainable power source for citizens and municipal facilities. Transitioning to urban farming is a step towards more eco-friendly food production. The World Research Institute estimates that by mid-century, the world will need to produce 50% more food while also reducing greenhouse gas emissions by two-thirds. Urban farming can help cities meet this challenge, reducing carbon emissions tied to food production. Water conservation is another critical aspect of sustainable cities. Resourceful urban water management is needed, especially given that over 90% of the world's urban centers are located near coastal areas. These steps help us reduce our reliance on fossil fuels and manage our resources more sustainably. By harnessing the sun, the soil and water, we can create truly sustainable cities moving closer to achieving destination net zero. Next, we look at the role of green spaces and waste management in sustainable cities. Green spaces, often underestimated, serve as the lungs of our cities. They absorb carbon dioxide, cool down urban heat islands, and provide places for people and biodiversity to thrive. In essence, they're not just a luxury but a necessary part of any city aiming for net zero. Equally crucial is the way we manage waste. Rather than a linear, take-make-dispose model, we should strive for a circular approach, where waste is seen as a resource. By recycling and composting, we reduce the amount of waste that ends up in landfills and reduce the need for new raw materials. Moreover, embracing technologies that convert waste into energy can further contribute to cities' energy needs while reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Green spaces and waste management not only improve our city's sustainability, but also their livability. Finally, we return to our original question, how can our cities reach net zero emissions? The answer is multifaceted, but achievable. It lies in 10 key steps, decarbonizing buildings, prioritizing energy efficiency, embracing sustainable transportation, creating walkable and bikeable neighborhoods, utilizing solar energy, focusing on sustainable food production, conserving water resources, prioritizing public green spaces, managing waste responsibly, and transitioning to electric vehicles. Each of these steps plays a crucial role in reducing carbon emissions and moving us closer to a sustainable future. Imagine the impact if these steps were implemented worldwide. We could drastically reduce our carbon footprint, improve quality of life, and ensure a healthier planet for future generations. Our cities, with their vast buildings and assets, have the potential to lead the charge in the fight against climate change. But it's not just up to city planners or governments, it's up to all of us. 
We need to demand and support these changes in our communities. Our cities have the potential to lead the charge in the fight against climate change. It's up to us to make it happen.